welcome to the Discount Property Investor Podcast, where we show you how to buy real estate at a discount so you can create wealth over time and income today. Our mission is to share what we have learned from the experience of others and help you make more money investing like a pro. We want to teach you how to create wealth by investing in real estate, the Discount Property Investor way. Thanks for tuning in. All right, welcome back to the Discount Property Investor. Your host, Mike Slane and David Dodge here. Uh, thanks for joining us. We are excited today to dive into marketing. I first want to ask you to check out the discountpropertyinvestor.com. There you can see all of our um, properties that we're wholesaling here in the St. Louis market, as well as explore the, um, there's a link to freewholesalecourse.com. So there you can see um, the whole the whole course laid out for you mm-hmm. on how to wholesale there how yeah, to start tons of great information on there it's free and um, we break down you know all the core components of wholesaling show you what you need to do to get started yeah check it out free so, wholesale course so today though I'm excited because I feel like this is really the heart of wholesaling uh, this it is, is really the first time we really get into the real meat of uh, your kind of day-to-day grind and what you're gonna be doing and that's marketing so the uh, meat and potatoes that's right man meat and potatoes that's good <laughs> stuff man and veggies on the side all right so let's talk about marketing a little bit um today let's cover we're going to cover five different ways that you can market or kind of get started in marketing pretty simple stuff nothing super advanced mm-hmm. and each one of these we can go into more detail on and we will in future episodes we're, we're obviously probably going to spend entire episodes on each one of these we will absolutely so, but i do want to interrupt for one second sure. mike I want to remind everybody that as a wholesaler, you are in the marketing business. Real estate just happens so just happens to be the product in which you are buying and selling. Mm-hmm. But you are in the marketing business. So this is one of the most important, the most important aspect of real estate investing as well as wholesaling because you make your money when you buy and you get paid when you sell. So if you're not buying right, you're not going to be successful. If you're not marketing, you're not going to be able to get the, the leads coming in to make enough offers to be able to buy right. Mm-hmm. This is a numbers game, folks. So, you know, if you send out 10 letters and you don't get a call and, and you're wondering why, it's because you haven't done enough marketing. Because so, you sent out 10 letters. Because you sent out 10 letters. Right. You know, we're sending out, you know, thousands a week at this point. But, you know, you can build yourself up. You don't have to jump in at, at, the, at those volumes. Um, but, you know, the main thing is get started today and start marketing. Yeah, that's a great point. I, I think I take it for granted because one of my favorite quotes uh, was an entrepreneurship class. Um, the, the teacher said, no matter what business you're in, you're in the business of marketing. And again, I don't know who that came from. Uh, credit to whoever it is. It's just true. But though. it is. So, so we are in the Sales real estate and marketing. Yeah, we are in the, the real estate business, but marketing is really what we do. I mean, marketing it's the most is- important. Piece. 100% of what we do. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, so let's get started then, the, the meat and potatoes. So uh, the first the first way that you can get started is those ugly yellow signs you see on the side of the road that say, we buy houses. Oh, man, they're ugly. Yeah. But they work. Bandit signs. So, yeah, we like ours extra ugly, too. We'll use yellow and green That's and right. all sorts of Ugly stuff. it up. But you know yeah. what? Those work. They work great. And um, if you're new to wholesaling and you have a tight budget, I recommend starting with bandit signs. You know, you can buy them online for a few dollars a piece. Um, You can buy them printed already with, you know, we buy houses or sell your house fast with your phone number, or you can go even cheaper and you can just buy them blank, go up to the store and get a big thick marker and write on there yourself, or even cheaper, you can just find cardboard boxes Mm -hmm. and cut them out. Yeah, no matter what your budget is. No matter what your budget is, there's no reason that you can't start, Mm -hmm. you know, doing bandit signs. And, you know, on on this topic, just for one brief second, I do want to say I know a guy that has a really tight budget, and he uses cardboard boxes. He he gets wood stakes, like he uses the the paint stirs Mm -hmm. that you get at Home Depot. He staples the cardboard to those. And or he'll take the cardboard and he'll you know tack them or staple them into telephone poles, and he's getting deals off of this. So now that he's doing deals, he has more money to reinvest into his marketing. But regardless, bandit signs—they're a great way to start. Um, there's a couple different types of bandit signs. Um, you can do your typical bandit sign, which is just stuck on the side of the road, typically at exit ramps where mm-hmm. people are parked, or intersections within the city. You can um, you can also staple or tack those to telephone poles. 
Um, if you're going to do that, we recommend you know getting them up a little bit higher off the ground to where they're going to be harder to take down, um, as well as bandit signs on wheels, which is primarily advertising on the back windshield of your vehicle or you know other people's vehicles. Mm -hmm. um, bandit sign on wheels is actually a program that you can buy. Yeah I, was gonna, yeah, I was going to say, I don't, I, we don't want to, um, yeah, we, I mean, we have to mention, I think it's uh, Ruben Perez. Ruben Perez. I met name. Ruben just about two weeks ago. Super right. nice guy. Yeah, so he kind of yeah. uh, partnered up with Damon Ramey, the owner of REI Black Absolutely. Book. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah, they've got a great program. So if you're interested in doing that, we, yeah, definitely say check yeah, that one out. Yeah, check it out. And you don't uh, have to use his program, but I would recommend it. I personally use it. I think you're using yep. it. Mm -hmm. It's a great program. Um, so, But, but the, the moral of the story is, so you get a telephone number and you put it on the back of someone's windshield. You don't have to use uh, the Bandit Sign on Wheels program. Um, yeah, I mean, you basically, you can get a whole bunch of different uh, Google Voice numbers or yep. whatever numbers you want to track where the leads mm -hmm. come from. Uh, and then you compensate those drivers for having their that advertise on the back of the yeah on the back of their. So computer. number one, Bandit Signs, guys. Mm -hmm. They're a great way to start. They're cost effective. You don't need a ton of money, and they work. They generate leads. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, number two, direct mail. Direct mail. I think we maybe mentioned this in previous episodes sure. is you know it's really the majority or I should say the main way that that wholesalers are marketing in, in today's market um, you know anywhere between 70 and 90 percent of, of all leads I, I would say are coming from direct mail um, there's lots of different ways to go about doing direct mail um, obviously postcards and letters are going to be your main ways um, you know, and as far as as far as getting lists to, to mail to, because you know, obviously, you're going to need to have a list to mail to. We recommend going to either listsource.com mm -hmm. or listability. Mm -hmm. Both of those sites are really great for generating lists. And you know, again, don't overthink the marketing. You know, whenever it comes to finding motivated sellers, um, it's very simple. You know, I always say if you're going to start, you know, start with vacants start with um, you know non-owner occupieds and um, you got a couple others who want to add to that Mike uh, yeah I mean a listability list source they, they've got a whole bunch of them kind of teed up for you I mean they, they can do. show you all, all the different stuff they can show you high equity and this and that so mm -hmm. it's really one of those things where I, I honestly don't think that it matters as much what list you're choosing or what uh, I mean what your selection criteria is as long as you just start doing it um, that's so that's true. the key. The second thing I would say on lists is that building your own list, I think, is always going to be better than the list that you buy. Uh, but that might be getting into a little bit more advanced. Mm -hmm. But an easy way to do that, when you're out driving around, you see a vacant house, write it down and figure it out and make sure you get something in the mail to those people. Driving too. for dollars. Driving for dollars. That's <laughs> right, man. See, there's, there's a term for all this stuff. That's right. right. Driving for dollars uh, is another great way to market. It's a little bit more intensive because it requires a little bit more work. There is an app, actually, that helps you with it. Uh, I think it Have you ever used it before? Crashed. Or did it not work? It didn't I've never used it, but yet. I've heard about it. I think it's just called Driving for Dollars. It was but, awesome. Yeah. But either way, Driving for Dollars is very, very simple, guys. Yeah. It's drive around, look at properties that you know you think would be would make a good investment. It doesn't have to be vacant, but vacants typically um, you know make that list pretty easily. Write down the uh, the address of the property, and then you can go to your local tax records, which is all you know public information, and you can figure out who owns that property and you know maybe even find out if they have a different mailing address and then send them a letter and when it comes to you know writing letters or even sending postcards don't overthink it that was one of the things that when i first started i kind of stumbled across like well what do i say you know how do i go about doing this just say who you are and that you buy properties for cash that's give me it. a call give me a call put yeah, your phone it. number your email your website you don't even need all that yeah. really just your phone number there's no perfect mail piece there is just no perfect get it mail out piece. there get your message out there that's get the it out there thing. exactly so mm -hmm. you know when it comes to driving for dollars create your own list you can go you sure. can buy your own list for direct mail so then when you're getting into mailing i'd say start uh with whatever I mean, budget you have if it's small start doing it yourself if you've got a bigger budget we're going to recommend you use uh yellow letter hq we've got a link mm -hmm. on uh, freewholesalecourse.com follow that link and you can get a discount on them i think it's 55 cents now per letter oh they're so great it's, yeah they're yeah. great yellow letter it's hq excellent. is who we're using mm -hmm. uh, we've used a couple other services in the past i know personally i've used click to mail and go big printing uh, nothing against those companies those are great companies 
we just really like yellow letter yeah. HQ. And there's there's plenty of them out there. So again, you don't don't be tied to one. Sure. Um, yeah. Anyways, mm -hmm. so let's keep let's keep uh, keep on keeping on. The next uh, topic I would say is ads. So where can you place ads? Well, you can do it online. So there's free the free way, which would be Craigslist. Um, I don't remember what it's called anymore. Backpage. Backpage as well. Is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then there's like the eBay one, which I think has changed to eBay classifieds. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a bunch of there's free mm -hmm. online stuff. Also like Thrifty Nickel, um, your local papers. Uh, a lot of them have some mm -hmm. on the online stuff that you can do for free. Then there's also paid stuff. So offline, going directly to newspapers. Uh, we've I've I've done I've had a couple of deals. Pretty good success up in. Um, an area I used to live in Overland is kind of a North, Car North County area. Uh, I had a couple pretty decent leads come in through. Uh, I think it's a ten dollar ad in the in a no monthly shit. monthly ad. Awesome. And, awesome. Yeah. So online, offline. Um, I know people that uh, print up. They print up postcards. They don't even mail them. They just print them up, and you know they'll go to their local grocery stores and they'll put them on the bulletin boards or if they're anywhere that let's say like a little restaurant or a gym or something like that, and they have. Uh, they have the little tag bolts and boards. Mm -hmm. They'll put their card up there, you know. And when it comes to those marketing pieces, again, they're just so simple. You know, we buy houses for cash. I buy houses for cash. You know, close fast, buy as is. Phone number, yep. big yep. and bold. That's it. Don't overthink it. Let people know what you do. You buy homes, and how how can they reach you? Mm -hmm. Give them a phone number. Give them an email address. Or give them a website, and uh, you can leave. People leave business cards behind when they go to lunch. Some people will drop them on the ground. Other people will tack up their little mm -hmm. postcards to those bulletin boards. So, you know, when it comes to ads, there's there's lots of ways to do it online and offline. Um, Mike had kind of mentioned some of the free ways online. Um, once you ha have more of a marketing budget, um, then there's obviously paid ways to do you know online advertising. AdWords and Facebook marketing are are probably two of the main ways that you can do online ads. But you know, there's tons of different ways if you have local newsletters or um, there's just tons of ways. So you can kind of look in your own market and figure out what the best uh, solution would be for you, um, you know, with the with the online space. Mm. Uh, number four with uh, with marketing, I would say would be networking. It doesn't these aren't even really necessarily in order. No, nope. no order. Whatsoever. But uh, number number four would be networking, local RIAs, BNIs. Mike, you do a lot more of this than me. I'm going to let you take the take the lead on this one. Sure. Uh, so. RIAs, I think we've touched on this in the past as well. So go on and online, check out meetup.com. Uh, it's a great way to find uh, your local RIAs. Uh, visit visit as many as you like. Find one that works for you. Find, go to all of them. I mean, if you can. We've got, we're have got we lucky here in St. Louis. We've got multiple and multiple good ones. We have tons of them. There's like 20. Yeah. And, it's and crazy there's, how many of them there are here. Yeah. And, there, and there's a lot of they're good ones, too. There, there's there's a good, several bunch really of them. good. Mm -hmm. I mean, just lots of attendance, lots of participation. Mm -hmm. Uh, so go out there and do that, and that's a great way, in my opinion, more uh, to sell your deals or to network with other people who might buy your deals. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as finding your deals, there's two other ways or two other major networking things that I I consider. One is BNI. I'm a big proponent of it. I'm in a in a group here in St. Louis, mm -hmm. and that's called Business Networking International. And I meet weekly with these people, and the whole purpose of that is to exchange referrals, so to, to give referrals to the other business owners in that group. I love that you're in BNI because, yeah. man, there's like you get a lead probably every two weeks. Yeah, probably about yeah and, from BNI. And again, it, it's a lead. They're not always great, but again, they hey man, it's it's people out there looking for deals on houses for me. Absolutely. So I've got absolutely. Yeah, it's just a great way to network, you mm -hmm. know. The other one is the the chambers. So like the Chamber of Commerce, your mm -hmm. local Chamber of Commerce. Um, I haven't had as good a luck with that, but again, it's it's another way to get out there and meet a bunch of business owners. I should join a so, chamber. Yeah, I, that's a great that's a great idea. Yeah, so I didn't go. even thought of that. Yeah. So. so so again, there's there's tons of ways to get out there and just get your message out there to to other people, other business owners, mm -hmm. letting them know that hey, you're you're in real estate, you buy houses. It's important. Yeah, keep it going. And depending on your market, you may have. A lot of RIAs you may not, and you know we. I had just mentioned a couple minutes ago here that you know we have a ton of RIAs in St. Louis, but not all of them are massive groups. Like we have one of the largest uh, RIAs in the Midwest here, with over three thousand. But a lot of the RIAs that I go to, they may just be like lunch with like five to ten people, and um, you know those to me are just as valuable as going to the ones that have a couple hundred, um, because I can actually spend time with those investors. I can figure out what they're looking to invest in. 
and build a little bit more of a relationship. So, you know, I don't, I, don't, I wouldn't say str stray away from the smaller RIAs because, you know, you're still going to meet great investors, buyers, other wholesalers that it's you can point. partner with. You know, there's one that I have been to a few times that's literally launched with like six or eight guys. Mm -hmm. And um, I think I've sold two of the six guys a deal in the last six months just because I have 30 to 45 minutes of kind of one-on-one -on -one time with these guys, you know? And then, of course, you have your larger RIAs where you have three to 400 people sometimes, mm -hmm. and maybe on the large side, but those exist. And it's great, but at the same time, you're not gonna get to spend more than a couple minutes with each individual that you meet just because there's so many people. Yeah, it's a very different dynamic. At these events, sure. yeah. And a lot of those events are kind of more tailored towards training and maybe having you sure. know some yeah. sort of a, a sales pitch, but that's okay. Yeah, guest speaker, or whatever That's all right, you can meet sure. people you know, at, as well at those events. So uh, networking, RIAs, BNIs, chambers, definitely recommend those. Um, a lot of our leads, you know, are word of mouth. You know, we do a ton of direct mail. We do online and offline marketing. We do bandit signs. You know, all these things are valuable to us. We do all of them. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, we um, we always recommend networking. A lot of your deals are going to come from networking. And, uh, you know, if you don't let people know what you do, then you're going to have a, a really hard time, uh, you know, generating free leads mm -hmm. as so well. Then, yeah, so then I guess the, the fifth one that we wanted to talk about today, and that's a kind of a free lead source, would be the MLS or listed properties. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's uh, I guess in the back of my head, I didn't think wholesaling listed properties was really a possibility. Uh, and that was just a stumbling block that I had to overcome because we do it all the time now. And the, the key is, I mean, calling agents, networking with agents. Uh, because Absolutely. the property could be listed, sure, but you also, once you build a relationship with an agent and you've bought a property or two from them, they know you're going to close, these agents get like pocket listings. I'm not sure what the MLS exempt, there, there's a specific term that agents use for it that's legal, but they have properties that they wouldn't necessarily list on the MLS and they'll give you a call, say, hey, I got this property, need some work, you interested. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's another kind of way to network, but again, it's just picking up the phone, calling agents with properties in areas that you're looking at or that your I, buyers are looking I at. I heard a quote one time from a guy and he said that uh, this is not what the MLS stands for, but it's just kind of another funny acronym is the MLS is a massive list of sellers. And that's, you know, it stands for the multiple listing service, but it really is a massive list of sellers. It's mm -hmm. a bunch of, it's a bunch of sellers that have hired agents to, to put their property out there for sale. And, um, you know, we get a ton of deals off the MLS. Um, you have to just make a ton of offers. So, you know, the MLS um, is a different beast completely, but you have a massive list of, of people that are looking to sell their home. So, you know, just like anything, it's a numbers game. If you make enough offers, you're gonna find some deals out there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we definitely recommend, um, you know, having, if you're not an agent, having an agent connect you um, to, to the MLS via, via emails, like through a portal. You can give them keywords, zip codes, school districts, you know, whatever your criteria is, and they can send you those and then you can make offers through that agent, you know, or go out and get your real estate license. You know, you can do it in a couple days. Usually there's like a three or four day weekend core or something like that, mm -hmm. you know, for a few hundred dollars in uh, maybe about a week's time, you can get your own agency, your own license and access the MLS yourself. And then that'll kind of expedite that process. Yeah, of, if you do that, then of I'm making gonna... of making tons of offers. Sure. Well, know? and if you are go out and get a real estate license, uh, your brokerage is gonna have a brokerage full of other real estate agents. So, I mean, there's an there instant you, network. There's networking right an there. An instant network right Absolutely. there. Absolutely. So yeah, there's- Let those people know you buy houses for mm -hmm. cash, you mm -hmm. know, and if they come across a good deal, you know, you'll, you'll get first, first bid at it. Right. Absolutely. Right. So, but that's pretty much the five main components of marketing, guys. There's really hundreds yeah, of ways to market. You know, we don't recommend uh, um, just focusing on really, you know, one thing. We, we would say definitely diversify your marketing efforts. Direct mail would probably be the the main thing to focus it's on. It's a staple. I, I would say it's the sure. staple of the business. Mm -hmm. But um, if you have a lower budget, by all means, you know, don't let that prevent you from starting your marketing. You know, if you don't even have enough money to, to get out there and do bandit signs, that's okay. You can still go to these local RIAs, go to meetup.com, go to BNI, you know, BNIs, and just start telling people that you buy real estate, that you are an investor, and that you're a cash buyer. 
and um, and that's it. You know, just getting the word of mouth out there. If you have social media, Facebook, Twitter, mm -hmm. you know, LinkedIn, create a post or two. You know, I have a calendar on personally a calendar that reminds me like every month to just make a Facebook post. You know, how corny is that? But hey, mm -hmm. it works. People, people. I just had a guy contact me yesterday off LinkedIn that said, hey, my 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 boss has this house that he wants to sell and. It needs about 20 grand worth of work. Will you buy it? He was literally asking me mm -hmm. if I was interested. And I was like, hell yeah, I'm All interested. Day. Yeah. I'll go look at it today. Yeah. And I bought it. We bought mm -hmm. it just a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if I wasn't getting out there and telling individuals, telling people, friends, family, even my network of people that I barely know via social media, which is <laughs> pretty much everybody, um, that I buy houses for cash, they wouldn't know that. So get out there, tell people that you're that you know that you are an investor that you're looking for real estate and you are a cash buyer that's the first place to start but again you know there's lots of ways bandit signs direct mail um, ads both online and offline yeah. you know and then of course you know using your your multiple listing service or your massive list of sellers mm -hmm. like I like to call it well and and so like we said uh, I mean we're probably gonna go into all these in more depth in coming episodes we will so absolutely stay tuned. Uh, I think the action item for everyone today, though, would be just start. Get started. Yeah, get Don't delay. Don't wait. Yeah, get your message out there. It doesn't matter what your budget is. Just get the message out there that you are a real estate investor. You're Go buy forward. some business cards, if anything. Yeah. Well, yeah. Ten get, bucks, you know? Is, you can Vista print or you can shoot. You can print. I've met a guy who printed them on, on his own printer. Print them out. Print them out. Yeah. When you go to the RIAs, pass them out, give them to people. Yeah, you you've got to get your name and number out there and let people know you buy houses. So, um, so yeah, I mean, that's the most important that's thing. That's the most important. Marketing is the business, folks. I just want to reiterate, you know, you are in the marketing business as a wholesaler. And, you know, if you're not marketing, you're not going to have leads coming in. Your phone's not going to be ringing. Your, your email, your website's not going to be generating leads. And if you're not getting leads, then you can't make offers. If you can't make offers, you can't do deals. It's very, very basic. So marketing is the business, folks. Get out there, start marketing, don't delay, mm -hmm. okay? Next week, we're gonna touch on offers. In our, in our next episode, we're gonna be talk, talking about offers, how to make offers, how many offers you should be making, what you should be, uh, what you should be doing with your offers. Um, but today, folks, get started marketing. Don't delay. You're mm -hmm. never going to be successful in this business if you don't start marketing. Absolutely. So to get started, to learn a little bit more, uh, visit us at thediscountpropertyinvestor.com. You can see all the deals that we currently have available. Subscribe. As, as You can subscribe, as well as uh, there's a link to freewholesalecourse.com. That'll show you how to get started in wholesaling today. It's got basically everything we've, we've got available out there for you guys. Yeah, it's a, it's a free course. Mm -hmm. We're giving it away for free. We we love to share. We like to educate. Um, and, you know, you can learn the nuts and bolts, the meat and potatoes, like we like to say, mm -hmm. about wholesaling. And uh, we're going to cover a lot of the things that we're covering in these episodes in that free course. And if you're interested in, uh, you know, in, in really diving in deep, we're going to have a, an, a we're going to have a, a course that you can actually purchase. But um, go to the free course. Check out that. There's tons of content in there. It's a great way to get started. The free wholesale course or freewholesalecourse.com. There's also a link on the discountpropertyinvestor.com. Mike, you want to close out this episode with, uh, with a quote? Sure. Yeah, make sure you guys uh, join us next week, though, making offers. We're going to dive into that. Mm -hmm. uh, so our closing quote, closing kind of thought is, uh, price is what you pay, value is what you get. Very true. Good quote. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for listening to the Discount Property Investor Podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please like, share, and subscribe to help us reach a wider audience. We would also appreciate it if you left us a review on iTunes or Stitcher. Thanks in advance for your support. And remember, you make your money when you buy and get paid when you sell. Now let's go build some wealth.